Um, this video is going to be kind of like a review of a product by Clairol called Flare. It's a hair color. I went into Sally's Beauty Supply the other day because as a hairdresser, you know, I go there quite a bit. And I have been using Clairol hair color from the moment I received my license and because, you know, the old cliche, does she or doesn't she? You never knew if the person was actually dyeing their hair because the colors were so natural. But as time passed, unfortunately, Clairol came out with a different, I guess, formula and they, it was a Soyplex and none of my customers really liked it and the colors were no longer by name but by number and it really confused the clients. So now, um, I guess, they came out with another product and it's called Flare. And it's supposed to be ultra shiny and like tone on tone effect. So. This video is going to show you what to expect if you go buy Flare. Oh, and the reason I'm doing a review on Clairol Flare isn't because I'm getting paid for it. It's because of the fact that when I was at Sally's Beauty Supply, there was a representative from Clairol in the building and she gave me the color. And she knew that the client I was going to be doing today had dark blonde hair, light brown. And uh, so she said I could go ahead and mix it with whatever that I normally use to try it out and she would appreciate some feedback and uh, I told her I'd do one better. I'd do a video showing the product in use as well as what the results would be. So that's what this video is going to be. Hi, I'm here at the salon and I'm getting ready to do a little review on Clairol's new hair color, Flare. I'm going to see how it works. And I, my client, if she's willing to let me use it on her. Okay, so I'm going to try Clairol Flare, and I'm using the caramel color. I mixed it with 20 volume peroxide and Clairol's classic Grey Busters Dark Neutral Blonde. Let's see how it turns out. Let's mix that puppy up. Yeah. Okay, so this is before I apply the color, what her hair looks like. Okay, so the color is supposed to be caramel. The tube definitely says it's caramel, you know, a, a light dark brown. But look at that red. That is a red base if I ever saw one. It doesn't say that it has a red base to it. So I'm hoping her hair does not turn out red. And she's hoping it don't turn out red, too. Okay, I'm checking again just to make sure I didn't put the wrong tube on her. <laughs> it does say lightest intense brown. And the tube inside of it is definitely the corresponding tube. So not unless the tube has got something inside of it. But Let's not. That is really that. red looking. Okay, are you going to leave it or take it out? Well, we got to keep it on to see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that thing definitely looks red. And I'm doing a triple check just because it's scaring me, you know. But I, I clearly myself, did mix it. It's, it's, yeah, dark blonde. And I mixed it with the lightest intense brown by Flare, this product that I am trying by Clairol. And I was told I could mix the two together. So I just wanted to see how it comes out. And so far... It looks red, but I'm hoping by the time it's all said and done, it's going to be a dark blonde with just some really nice brown highlights. Shiny. It's supposed to be shiny. I, this looks <laughs> shiny red right now. Yeah. Thank goodness for my guinea pig. I'm going to kill kinda, her. <laughs> don't kill me if it turns out red. <laughs> I promise goes. I can change it if I have to. <laughs> okay, the red is still there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's hope that red is not going to be the color it comes out when I rinse this stuff out. All right, so we got a little nervous. We went on Google to see if anybody else has tried this hair color. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so you're saying this person said it came out redder than expected? With the Clairol 4 BB, not With the, the 5 4. BB. Okay, well, we're going 5 BB, but it still kind of looks red to me. One ounce 5 BB, which is supposed to be a light, intense brown with one ounce of six in classic dark neutral blonde just to make sure it didn't go too dark <laughs> and uh, at this point you know I'm not sure we just want to make sure it's not going to go red yeah the true test will be when I rinse this out and shampoo it and see what 
color it comes out to be, but at this point it really is a guessing oh, game. Oh great, this one gives it two stars and it says use at your peril. Hmm, following the entire directions on the box. Okay, yeah, I, I, I have a feeling I'm going to probably, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I, thank you for being willing to let me do this to you. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, now I was just reading this review who gave it a one star and she was using this color, the Bordeaux 3V. And that's not the color I'm using on my client because she definitely does not want to be a redhead. I am definitely using 5BB, which is the light intense brown. And I mixed it with blonde, dark neutral blonde, so it wouldn't come out dark, but I don't know. Like I said, it's almost time to rinse it out. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. The color is not something in the red family because really, truly, she does not want to be a redhead. And if it is in the red family, we will have to change it. So it's almost that time to rinse it out. Let's see what happens. Trust me more than I trust me. It's just, you know, a new product you just... You don't know what's going to happen, so, you know, and the red does seem to have subsided a little bit. Now it's looking like your basic oxidation taking place, so I really am keeping my fingers crossed. This is coming out a dark blonde with some light brown shiny highlights. All right, let's go rinse this stuff out. Okay, this is with the sunlight shining on it prior to rinsing. Let's see what happens. Go ahead and lay back. <laughs> How's that feel, okay? Oh, yeah, no hotter though. Okay. Okay, it's not looking as red as I was fearing. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we still got to do the shampoo. Uh, okay, I'm looking at this in the sun. Yeah, it looks okay. You know, it's it was scary at first, I will admit, but this is actually looking like what I think I'm anticipating seeing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yay, it doesn't look like it's bright red. Or <laughs> I was really afraid there when I saw all that red. Okay, I'm starting to get a little more relaxed here. I'm definitely not seeing the flame red that I was fearful of. <laughs> okay, I got a little conditioner on it. I think the color is going to be okay. Thank goodness for clients who are willing to be guinea pigs. This is it wet. We're going to go ahead and dry it and see how it looks. Okay, I'm going to give a little bang trim first, but yeah, the color seems to be okay. I did mix it with Clairol's dark neutral blonde so it didn't go too dark and clearly it's not the horrid red I was seeing in the development phase. <laughs> I think it's going to be okay. These are trimmed. How's the color looking to you so far? It's fine. Okay, now it's supposed to be super shiny. Let's see if it is. <laughs> okay, this is the end result. Let's take it outside because, you know, sunlight is the best way to tell what a hair color looks like. Yeah, missing, get I'm this outside. <laughs> okay, this is out here. Let's really get you in the sun. Okay, it's pretty shiny, I will say. And I did mix it with the dark neutral blonde. So it's kind of caramel looking. And it's definitely not that red color that had us all afraid because see that's red <laughs> that is not <laughs> so thank you again for being my guinea pig <laughs> no problem no problem yeah it's pretty shiny i will say that okay so this is my in review for clairol's new flare yeah that looks pretty good okay clairol <laughs> Flair seems to be okay. <laughs> it does have a, a, a red to it, though. It's more of a, like an amber. I guess caramel has a little bit of red, huh? <laughs> but it wasn't that ugly red we were fearing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so yeah, we've agreed that it definitely has a little bit of a red tone to it. How much but she's it? okay with it. <laughs> Old school. We still do the check system. <laughs> so, you know, we got to try out these products and make sure they're okay, definitely. So, thank you once again for being my willing <laughs> guinea pig model. You're very welcome. <laughs> yeah, my, no, Not thank only you. was she my guinea pig, but she paid me for it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I guess if you really want to try it, you can try it. It's okay. It, you know, it's kind of scary at first because you do see the red base as it's oxidizing. But um, Clairol, Flair, this is caramel. 5 PB mixed with dark neutral blonde, one ounce of each, and this is the end result. Okay, so the bottom line here on this review regarding Clairol Flair is it's okay. You know, it, it does what it's supposed to do, I guess. But it clearly gives you a scare in the beginning when you use it. 
particularly if you're a client who is accustomed to the does she or doesn't she classic Clairol colors, the natural colors. And, you know, I understand where the younger and edgier clients, they, they want the colors that are not so natural looking, but don't get rid of the clients who make Clairol what Clairol is. Keep the classic colors and, you know, keep the flair for those who want to be more flamboyant. But, uh, you know, that, that color really, truly, it's not a natural blonde. It was more like an amber blonde. And I've been doing my client's hair more of a neutral, dark blonde with a little bit of brown. And it looks really good, very natural. Nobody knew she was dyeing her hair. <laughs> but uh, with this, you know, it, it is shinier, yes. But it, amber is not a natural color, generally. And... Uh, you know, neither is purple and all those other colors. So, I guess, bottom line, keep the flair for those who want to be more flamboyant. But don't get rid of Clairol's classic colors. Because there are a lot of clients who still prefer the natural looking hair color.